Betelgeuse, the bright red star located in the constellation Orion, has been a topic of interest for astronomers and stargazers alike. Recently, there have been updates on the star's behavior, leading to speculation about a possible supernova explosion. In this video, we will explore the latest developments and what they mean for the future of this fascinating celestial body. What is Betelgeuse? Inside the Bizarre Explosive Star Betelgeuse has been a star that has captured humanity's awe and attention for centuries. Its blazing red supergiant shines brilliantly in the night sky, making it an unparalleled spectacle. As the right shoulder in the constellation Orion, or left shoulder as seen from Earth, Betelgeuse, or Alpha Orionis, is one of the most prominent stars ever discovered and one of the brightest stars in the night sky. But as impressive as it is from our vantage point, there is so much more to this ultra-bright stellar monster than meets the eye. Betelgeuse is a fascinating red supergiant star with a remarkable orange-red hue, making it easily recognizable in the night sky. These stars are in the last phase of their life cycle and tend to expand and become extremely large, making them the biggest stars in the universe. Despite being only 10 million years old, Betelgeuse is much more massive than our Sun, which is nearly 5 billion years old. Due to its size, Betelgeuse will consume its materials much faster, resulting in a shorter lifespan than a star like our Sun. What's more, Betelgeuse is located about 640 light-years away, meaning it takes the light from this star approximately 641 years to reach Earth. Therefore, if you spot Betelgeuse in the night sky, you see the star as it existed 640 years ago. Betelgeuse is not only famous for its unique color, but also for its brightness. It is often listed as the 10th brightest star in the sky, although its brightness level can vary significantly at different times. To put it into perspective, Betelgeuse is roughly 7,500 to 14,000 times brighter than our Sun. Betelgeuse is a beautiful celestial body that fascinates astronomers and stargazers alike. When did Betelgeuse start to lose its brightness? Late in 2019, something mysterious happened in the universe that caught the attention of astrophysicists and stargazers alike. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star, suddenly lost its brightness and was dubbed the Great Dimming. It was so noticeable that even the naked eye could see the difference. Many theories were proposed, but a team led by Andrea Dupree from the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and the Smithsonian believes they have finally figured out what caused it. Using data collected from various telescopes, including the Hubble Space Telescope, Dupree and her team discovered that the culprit behind the phenomenon was a surface mass ejection, or SME. This is a process where the star releases a massive amount of material into space. Our own sun does this too, but Betelgeuse's SME was on another level. It ejected a staggering 400 billion times more material than our sun, equivalent to several times more mass than the moon. As this material cooled, it formed a cloud of dust that partially blocked our view of Betelgeuse, causing it to dim. Betelgeuse is currently on the path to its explosive end as a supernova. But in the meantime, astronomers have gained unprecedented insight into the final stages of a giant star's life. It's incredible what we can learn from the universe around us. The recent disturbance in Betelgeuse, the red supergiant star, is caused by a massive plume within the star. This enormous plume was one million miles in diameter, four times the distance between our planet and the moon. As it rose to the surface, it triggered a series of shocks and pulsations that ejected material into space. Betelgeuse's bloated size magnified this event's impact, resulting in gravity that is 10,000 times weaker than our own sun. This incident has significantly impacted Betelgeuse's more regular pulsations. For ages, astronomers have studied the star and discovered that it undergoes cycles of brightness fluctuations for 400 days. Since the great dimming, this pattern has vanished possibly due to a material rearrangement inside the star. According to Dupree, Betelgeuse continues doing some very unusual things. 
According to Hubble researchers, the dust cloud originated as super-hot plasma, released from an upwelling of a giant convection cell on the star's surface, moved through the hot atmosphere to the cooler outer layers, where it cooled and created dust grains. Beginning in late 2019, the ensuing dust cloud cut off light to around a fifth of the star's surface. The star's brightness was restored to normal around April 2020. Will Betelgeuse go supernova if its brightness increases by 50%? Could Betelgeuse go supernova in the next several decades? The dispute about when the star will burst resurfaced when the light's brightness increased by over 50% between May and June 2023. It is predicted to go supernova sometime in the next 100,000 years. A recent study led by Hideyuki Sayo from Tohoku University in Japan suggests that Betelgeuse, a star, might be in its final life stage, the carbon-burning phase. Sayo predicts that the star's core could collapse within a few decades after the carbon exhaustion. However, another group led by Laszlo Molnar from Konkoli Observatory in Hungary disagrees and claims that Betelgeuse is in the earlier helium-burning stage of its life cycle. Regardless, Betelgeuse is still a prime candidate to be the next supernova visible from within the Milky Way galaxy, with potentially thousands of years left before its demise. This is what we'll witness when Betelgeuse does go supernova. No one, including many professional and amateur astronomers, has reason to believe that Betelgeuse is in any greater danger of going supernova today than it would be on any given day over the next 100,000 years or so. But many of us are hoping to see the first supernova visible to the naked eye in our galaxy since 1604. We won't be in danger, but it will be magnificent. Betelgeuse could swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, the asteroid belt, and possibly Jupiter if it were to replace our Sun. Betelgeuse emits vast quantities of material expelled over the past few thousand years. This matter and gas extend beyond Neptune's orbit around the Sun. As the star approaches its eventual supernova, it will shed more mass and continue to expand. It will also experience chaotic fluctuations in brightness and progressively burn through heavier elements in its core. It's concerning to think that even as this star transitions from carbon to neon to oxygen to silicon fusion, we won't have any directly observable signatures of those events. During a crucial phase in the development of a star, the silicon burning in its inner core will eventually end, causing a significant drop in radiation pressure deep within Betelgeuse. Since this pressure was the only force holding the star up against gravitational collapse, the inner core, which consists of elements like iron, cobalt, and nickel, will start to collapse inward. Will our Earth be in danger if it explodes? The more massive a star is, the faster it burns through its fuel, and Betelgeuse is currently in the final stages of its life. This means that when the innermost core melts silicon and sulfur into iron, nickel, and cobalt, the star will only have a few minutes left. In those final moments, the core will be boiling, but the iron, nickel, and cobalt will not be able to fuse into anything heavier. This is because it is energetically unfavorable to do so. Therefore, no new radiation will be produced in the innermost regions. Despite this, gravity still plays a role and tries to pull the core of the star into itself. It's fascinating how the universe works. Following a brief initial flash, Betelgeuse will undergo a staggering increase in brightness over several weeks, eventually reaching a maximum brightness of billions of times more luminous than the Sun. This heightened luminosity will persist for months due to continuous light emission caused by radioactive cobalt and expanding gases. Located at a mere distance of 600 light years, Betelgeuse is currently much closer than any recorded supernova in human history. Fortunately, its remoteness ensures that it poses no danger to us. The Earth's magnetic field will shield us from any energetic particles that may come our way. At the same time, the distant location of the explosion means that the high-energy radiation we receive will be of low density. We are situated approximately 10 times further away than the point at which we would feel any effects from the explosion. Get ready for a dazzling display. Betelgeuse is set to shine brighter than ever before, visible even during the daytime. 
It's expected to rival the moon as the second brightest object in the sky and could even steal the show as the brightest object in the night sky for over a year. This cosmic event promises to be one of the most spectacular sights ever witnessed from Earth. It's an exciting time for astronomers and stargazers alike as we await the potential explosion of one of the brightest stars in the night sky. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel as a sacrifice to the gods of the algorithm. Thanks for watching.